My friend, if you're alive, you're still in the process of learning. Don't ever be to the point in life where you think you know it all. Be teachable. That is being humble in the Bible. It is to be meek where it talks about in the Bible. It's not to be all crusted up with preconceived opinions and beliefs. Be someone that is constantly learning. AARP was founded on that concept originally with Ethel per Percy Andrews. She wanted to promote lifetime learning, learning up to the very last day. Well, you are whether you want to be or not. You're continually in a school if you're alive, a school of soul growth. Billy Graham once wisely said that knowledge is horizontal, wisdom is vertical. It comes down from above. My friend, whether you are 12 or 112, there is still lots to learn. Even if you're a wise person, there's still plenty more that you need to know. Lifetime learning is part of God's plan. Always seek to learn more. It, seek at 85 years of age to take a college course. Get out there and learn something that you have not learned thus far. If you don't know about the computer, learn about the computer. Strive to learn and constantly every month of your life seek to put something else new inside of your mind. Do you want to live a life that is righteous and filled with God's wisdom? If so, continue studying the ultimate source of wisdom and that is the Word of God. Choose to associate day in and day out with wonderful, honorable, wise men and wise women. Listen to the still small voice of God's Spirit whispering direction as you strive to act in accordance with God's leading. It says in Proverbs 24, verse 14, Wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, there is a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Wisdom is one of those keys that turns inside of your soul that will help you to know that there is a tomorrow and a bright tomorrow. I always have said with people that have said to me that there's just no hope for them that there's no room for their career or their growth to, to go back to school and to learn more and to reinvent yourself. How many times I have had to reinvent my life. This whole ministry is a reinvention. And I ask you to be teachable in the same way. When I got into this, I didn't own a computer. I didn't want a computer. I hated computers. But I also said, opening up my mind, I said, God, I'm willing, teach me. That's one of the highest prayers that you could ever pray. Be teachable in every aspect of life, and you'll continue to live. Pray for God's guidance today and every single day of your life. When you do these things continually, you'll keep growing both intellectually and spiritually, gaining wisdom that is sweet to your soul.